Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize if I sound a little bit weird. I've been struggling with a cold um, for the past couple of days um, because, yeah, I have a child in uh, senior kindergarten and we all know how often they wash their hands. <laughs> So today I am just sketching onto a beautiful sparkling Santorini stone. Um, you don't have to use this kind of stone. You don't even have to use stone. Um, but I'm just giving you an idea for a very cute Valentine's rock. Um, and yeah, it, you can't really see what I'm sketching, but I promise you once I start painting, you will be able to see it a lot better. I'm just trying to get my idea down uh, with pencil, and then we will go from there. Uh, like I said, you don't have to use Santorini stones. I actually uh, don't have very many left. I, I got some ages ago, and I'm almost out, and they are beautiful. So when you see a Santorini stone uh, tutorial, it's because... You are lucky <laughs> because I do not have very many of them. So um, I use them sparingly. I wish that I could find them uh, a lot less expensive and in Canada, but I haven't been able to find any. And I do live at a border city now, so I can pick up items across the border and then pay for uh, duty and stuff to bring them back across here to Canada. But, um, yeah, who can afford that kind of stuff? <laughs> now you can see I'm just sketching on. I did have a little stool there, but I, I erased that and it's now going to be a cute ladder. Um, we will go from there, but I'm just kind of getting the idea out. It's not going to look exactly like this when we're done. Um, because I, I'm going to change up things a little bit as we go. I decided against the mustache. I, I don't know why I do that. I always sketch on a mustache and then I just don't bother with it afterwards because I like the way my nobies look. <laughs> so, um, so once again, I apologize if I sound a little bit weird. I promise you, I, I feel pretty good right now. Um, but I have not been sleeping well because of this horrible cold. Um, and of course I, I want to let you know it's not the coronavirus because I don't even drink Coronas. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. I know the coronavirus is a serious thing and it has nothing to do with those lovely beers. Um, so I am painting in a tree and you can be random with your tree. I just kind of went with the shape of my stone to be honest. So um, I wanted to just hang the tree up because he has uh, gotten down from his ladder after hanging up some cute hearts um, to to present his valentine to his beautiful Nomi friend. So this looks like a mess. I'm using a, a Martha Stewart sponge uh, and I am sponging on where his hairy beard is going to be. Um, and I always do that. So if you've, if you've watched my other gnome tutorials, I usually kind of sponge on a base color first. And then I do little fine uh, wispy hairs in pewter gray. I'm also going to add a little bit of white. Um, and I'm using my fine lining brush, which is uh, on my channel. If you click on videos, it it's in there. I have over a hundred videos and I've also left it in the description of this video as well. So if you need a fine paintbrush to do all of this fine, fine work with, uh, definitely give it a try and it, it might help you. It's helped plenty of people. So I hear, I wish that I could actually, uh, find some way to get a bunch of my paintbrushes out there to everybody or available in my Etsy shop. So if you know how I can get my paintbrushes um, with my name on them, please tell me. I, I need help. People keep telling me, are you selling merchandise? Are you, are, do you have a Patreon? I'm like, no, I don't. I don't even know how to do any of this stuff. I just know how to share with you what I'm painting. So <laughs> now I am going back and forth between colors. I mixed a little bit of orange with a little bit of berry wine to make a darker orange. And then I just kind of going uh, one after another, light 
dark, light, dark to make like two little, uh, I guess ponytails. They're going to be ponytails hanging down on my little female gnome. So I'm just going to let the, the hairs dry a little bit. I've added shoes and then I, I added a little bit more hair over top of the shoes on my gnome with the beard. And I'm just going to kind of let the hair dry a little bit because I don't want to mess with it too much. So I'm going to work on a flower. It's just really simple. Two big leaves and two stems coming out. I'm going to do um, a dotted flower, two dotted flowers on the stems afterwards. Um, but I just want to kind of do other things uh, while, while their hair is drying so that I don't mess anything up. Now I will be doing a French blue dress on the female and you don't have to do French blue. You can choose whatever colors you want. I'm just going with the flow with this one. So I'm just letting you know all paint colors will be located in the description of this video so that you know which paint colors and which brands I'm using. Um, I don't add any kind of medium to my paints. Uh, sometimes I just add a little drip of water in order to make the consistency a little easier to work with, uh, depending on the brand. I find folk art's pretty thick. Um, it's excellent for coverage, but it's not good for fine lining and stuff. So it's always a little bit easier to add a little drip of water to your water-based acrylic paint. And uh, yeah, it'll help things along a little bit better. So I did add a couple of leaves using a bright green. They're just simple little leaves, just putting them in random spots on the branch. And now I'm doing her French blue dress. And I am cutting off a little bit of her ponytails, but we're going to go back to those afterwards once the dress is dry. I just wanted to make sure that her dress was on so that we can decorate that later. Now I'm going to color in the hearts. And I'm using a very nice bright, bright red from Folk Art. It's actually called Apple Red, and it is just very, very bright. Now I'm letting you know ahead of time, you probably saw... Uh, on Facebook or even on Instagram that um, these hearts are going to be very glittery. If you don't have glitter or you don't want glitter, if your husband doesn't like glitter in the house, <laughs> mine doesn't, but he forgives me. <laughs> he knows how hard I work, so he allows the glitter. <laughs> um, but if you don't have glitter or don't want to use the glitter, you can just leave them nice and bright red like this and uh, they'll still look beautiful. But you know me, there's always a little touch of gold and, and, and glitter in my stones. So you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm just making sure that my uh, tree is covered and it, I can't see through it. I don't want to be able to see the stone uh, the white stone behind my tree. So I'm just making sure that there's a nice thick layer of that dark brown. Now I'm finishing off her ponytails now that the dress is somewhat dry. And making sure to give a little curl. Now I'm just outlining her dress. I'm just going to outline the outer edges of her hair as well. And we will be outlining everything a little bit later on, but I just wanted to kind of define where her hair is and where her dress is. Now, like I said, you can use whatever colors you want to uh, decorate your rock. You don't have to use the same colors. You can use blonde hair. You can do brown hair. You can do whatever you want. I just wanted to do a ginger gnome. <laughs> a ginger gnome friend. I'm using Perfect Purple uh, for my cap or my hat. It's not going to be Christmassy, so I'm not going to do like snowflakes and stuff on these ones, but they still are wearing mitts and hats because that's just what gnomes do. <laughs> but they're not cold and there's grass and flowers and all that. So, you know, spring is in the air. So I'm just doing like a base coat of the purple. Then I'm going to use a sponge. Um, and just by the way, these are not bosoms. <laughs> these are not. Don't get the wrong impression. Those are her cute little mittens and she's holding her valentine that she is going to give to her Nomi. Okay, don't get me wrong guys. <laughs> I had to make sure I, I mentioned that. So I mix camel and vintage pink 
to get a nose color for my gnomes. Um, and then I put a little streak of white on them to give them a little shine, but I'll do that once they're dry. Um, and I'm just letting her mittens dry. I'm going to use sponges on their hats to kind of um, blend them out a little bit, lighten them in some areas just to give them a little bit of definition, make them not so plain. And his nose is bigger than hers, and there's nothing wrong with that. I like his big nose. <laughs> so I wanted to put some little plum polka dots on her dress. I like purple and so does she. She looks awesome in purple. We're going to put some little barrettes in her hair as well. Or, uh, yeah, little black barrettes with gold, uh, gold dots on them. We'll do that after. Or we'll do it now. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to let the black paint dry, though, before we add the gold dots on them. But she's got a cute little heart to give to him. She's kind of shy, but he's got a heart to give back to her already. So, And he hung all these cute hearts for her to make it a very special occasion. You can even paint this on a little card for somebody if you wanted to. It's, it's perfect. Why not? And you can change up your gnomes as much as you want with it. So here's where I outline everything a little bit with a fine line, a little bit of black. I am going to erase um, pencil marks and stuff that you can see extra stuff, but I'll wait till everything's dry before I mess with the eraser. Now I don't go all the way in across the hat. I just kind of define like wrinkles and just do the, the little edge of the wrinkle in black. I don't go all the way across the top of the hat. I'm going to add a couple patches to her hat. It'll be just like a little square patch and a little heart shaped patch. But I just want to define her mittens and her heart. I'm just using a little bit of magenta for the heart, like a, a deep pink. And then I'm going to do little stitches with white paint around it to make it look like it's a patch. And I'm not being careful either. I'm being kind of messy with it because it, it's patches. Like, it's kind of scruffy, right? Well loved. How about that? <laughs> she is so cute. She still needs a, a shine to her nose, though. I'm just going over top with a second coat so that I can't see through that. And once I outline his nose, it won't look so big as well. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So I'm just erasing, getting rid of the stuff I didn't want from her after everything's dry, of course. And I found a hair, so I had to pick that off. <laughs> so I'm going to do his, bl his uh, blue hat in teal his blue hat. His hat's going to be in teal. And I'm going to do the same thing, only he's going to have um, just stitches, some white stitches, and I'm going to stitch on a white heart, or white stitches in the shape of a heart. Um, but you do what you want. You do you. I'm just using a sponge to kind of dab out the brush strokes, and it just looks like a, a nicer texture for a nice soft hat. I'm highlighting it with a little bit of white, just lightening it up in certain areas, but you can't see it because my giant hand is in the way. <laughs> and it looks like I have the shakes, <laughs> but I don't, I promise you. I drink coffee, but I don't drink that much coffee. See how I'm just putting some little light little uh, stitches. I'm not being careful once again. I'm not being careful at all. So I'm just stitching this little white heart onto the hat. Super simple and no stress. Don't stress about the hat. Now I'm making his nose look a little bit smaller, but it's still, I still wanted his nose bigger than hers. For some reason, that's just what I wanted. <laughs> Their noses are quite plump. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so I'm just going in and just defining the wrinkles in the hat a little bit with the black paint, outlining everything. I'm going to outline the hearts. Um, I'm going to give him some mittens as well because he's going to be handing her a sparkling heart. So now I'm going to give him some mittens as well because he has to be able to hand her the heart. So I'm just using a jungle green. I'm not doing Christmassy colors for their hats and, and gloves. So yes, they're still wearing hats and gloves, but not Christmas ones. <laughs> they're lightweight. Because it's still cold here, February 14th, I'm telling you. We still have a lot of snow. So I just want to thank you guys while I'm painting in uh, the rest of this stuff here. Um... I just want to let you know how much I appreciate it when you send me pictures of your work and share with me what I showed you how to do. Um, honest to God, it's like watching one of my kids do something that makes me very proud. So I'm not calling you guys my children, but you guys make me just as proud as my kids do. So I just want you guys to all know that just you painting with me. Um, you sharing with me that your your grandkids or your kids also love my stuff and, and are trying to paint it, it just, it really makes my heart swell with love and appreciation, and it reminds me every day why I do this. So I just want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and and being such an excellent support team Um all around like you're all so supportive with each other you're so supportive to me and I just love each and every single one of you and I want you to know it does feel like you are my friends and it's I've heard from you that it feels like it's not just a teacher but a friend is is showing me how to paint this and that makes me feel so good and I want you to know that you guys are part of my family and so I if I don't say it on every video. I'm sorry. Um, but I'm saying it right now and I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart. You guys are truly an amazing group of people and I feel very blessed every day. So I want you to know that. Um, hopefully I haven't missed any details here. I just outlined everything and, and used black paint to do my, my bow ties where he hung up the hearts for her. So everything is going to be outlined in black, his heart that he's holding, as well as his cute little mittens. They will all be outlined so that everything is seen. Now you can also, um, with the background of this stone, you can also do like a watercolor or watered down blue paint and use a sponge and just color the whole background with like a watery light blue. And then you have like a sky background to start with. Um, but I really just want to appreciate the sparkles and the brilliance of the Santorini stone. So I'm leaving it with a white background. You'll be able to see at the end, when you seal it, when you seal Santorini stones, sometimes the sparkle disappears. Um, but with resin, the sparkle is still there. Um, so I will be able to show you that a little bit later, how the sparkles on the stone still shine through and we still get to appreciate this beautiful stone. So I'm adding a little bit of uh, chrome nail glitter, which is in the description of this video as well, um, just to give some brilliance to my uh, leaves. And I'm also going to be doing the leaves on the two stemmed flower that's on the left beside her. Now here's where I paint in my beautiful ladder. I'm not worrying about whether or not this ladder looks like it's actually leaning up against the tree or if it's, you know, geometrically proper. I don't care. <laughs> if it looks like a ladder, that's all I care about, guys. <laughs> that's all I care about. I am going to let the silver paint dry a little bit before I um, outline it in black, but I will be outlining that in black as well. Everything will be outlined. Here's her little gold spots on her barrettes. She is adorable. And I think they make a cute little, a cute little pair. 
So here's where I use my fine lining brush to just kind of flick some grass onto here using a bright green. You can use different shades of green to give it some more depth. Um, I just keep adding as I go along. Once I get closer to the end, I add a little bit more, but it's just simple. Don't have too much paint on your paintbrush when you do that or else it's going to be like splattering all over the place. Uh, and take your time with it. I'm really not working as fast as what it shows in this video. I am not that magical. <laughs> now you just saw me side swipe this uh, yellow paint. That's what I'm using for my flower petals. Simple dotted flowers, but they really do uh, look super cute. I might even add crystals to them at some point, but not today. I'm outlining um, these ones. I'm also going to add the sparkly green shimmery stuff. You can use eyeshadow as well. Um, whatever you have, whatever you have on hand. When I started off, I literally was creative with just about everything. Uh, I use measuring spoons for my rocks. I still do. Um, I am creative with everything. So use what you have available to you. Um, so for instance, if you don't have shimmery nail glitter, like I just used on my leaves, use eyeshadow. It's totally up to you. But you will need to put like a clear coat over top of the eyeshadow or the glitter to keep it in place. And that's what I will be doing a little bit later. I use whatever I have on hand, which is Duraclear uh, varnish or even triple thick, um, what is it called? I don't even know now. It's called triple thick and it is basically glue. <laughs> so I use it for all my glitter and and all of that to keep everything in place. So I'm just outlining uh, the branch with some gold, just adding a little bit of gold here and there. You know me. I probably sound like I already think I sound annoying on my videos, but I probably sound horrifying today because of my cold. <laughs> so I thank you again for being there for me. <laughs> there it is, triple thick. It's glaze. And some people seal their rocks in it. I literally just use it uh, as a glue and to cover up my shimmery stuff. So I'm also gonna use it on the hearts like you're seeing right now. I'm putting a nice thick layer because here's where I'm gonna add glitter. Now this is optional, you don't have to do it. Uh, you might have seen in other videos that I use like um, LED or um, nail polish that you need to use a curing lamp with and it's like a ruby sparkly red. You can use that and cure it under an LED lamp um, or you can use fine glitter. This is from Recollections or Recollections. Uh, I get it at Michael's so I'm just tap tap tapping getting it all on the areas where I put the glue and then I let it dry really good before I sweep it off. Make sure you put some paper underneath your stone so that you can roll it up and funnel it back into your uh, glitter package. Um, so yeah, I'm. if you need to do it again, do it again. Just make sure you let it dry before you sweep it off. I wanted to let these guys dry a little bit more before I did their hearts, but they're nice and dry now. So I'm not going to mess anything up by sweeping across them. So I'm going to do theirs. All done. They look gorgeous. Now you think they look nice now with the glitter? Wait till you see them resin, guys. I I couldn't even I couldn't even contain myself. I had to show you a sneak peek of the resin on Instagram and on Facebook because I was just like in love with it right away. <laughs> so I'm going in. I did add my signature to the left side of the rock. I'm adding a little bit more grass like I said. Um, some of this glitter might move around. Don't be upset about it because honestly, I'm never upset when I see a piece of glitter somewhere. So some of the glitter might move around. You can put an extra layer of the Duraclear or gloss varnish or triple thick glaze. You can put it right over top of those glittery hearts. Um, if you want to keep the glitter in place a little bit better, make sure you let it dry and then you can resin it or not. You don't have to resin, but, but look at this. 
<laughs> it is gorgeous. Oh, I just love it. And they're so cute. They're so shy and so cute. I just love it. I love what he did to decorate for her. I think she really appreciates it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're going to do. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Please keep painting. Mwah!